Hi, Barry Foster here. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number 12. And today we've uh, got another Platinum League match to show you. We're away to the Mounties Wanderers. But before we get to that game, this is what has been happening since our last video. We have played a further four matches. Yeah, a couple of cup games where we struggled against St George FC. But, uh, we got through on penalties despite dominating the game in... Well, uh, from start to finish, but yeah, we um, we got taken to penalties. Comprehensive three 0 win over Northern Tigers, uh, seven two win over Martin, which was uh, quite a comprehensive win. Highlighted uh, five goals by Michael Jeffrey, who gave us a tap on the shoulder to remind us that he's still our um, he's still on our books. And Hills Brumbies, a three two win, very tight game, but. Um, Sapsford came to the party and to get us the three points. He did, he, he did uh, indeed, and this is how the league table currently looks with uh, the Spartans sitting in third position on 20 points, a game in hand, um, five points behind the Mount Druid Rangers on 25 and Manly United on 20. Uh, two points and uh, Bankstown City sitting two points behind them as well but they've played a, a, a mm. game uh, more than us so um, it's uh, the Mounties Wanderers it's 16th playing third I, I think we're feeling, feeling fairly confident that we can pick up another three points so let's go and play the Wanderers mm. okay here's the starting lineup for today's match uh, Signorello in goal Bakira Durisic, Kankar and Habanamana across the back line. Kriljar, Munro and Hayhurst in the middle of the park. Sindrick on the left, Amiko on the right and Jeffrey will lead our attacking line and sitting on the bench will be Hugh Brown, Todorowski, Ward, Alley, Stanick Fluddy, Kyle Careys and um, Paul Apostolopoulos. Quite a few changes because mm. um, a number of players are still tied from uh, the previous game and as we've said before, a lot of the players don't really handle uh, two games in a week. No, number of changes, um, but we are confident. Uh, Mounties have had a poor run of results and are at the bottom of the table, but although they've had a poor run of results, the they haven't been thrashed in any of the recent games. So I think they're uh, going to be a challenge for us. Okay, well, let's go and chat to the boys. Yeah, I think we can be pretty calm about the the whole thing and we'll we'll go with young Sasha's recommendation again. We're doing well and we're on a good run, so let's keep it going. Okie dokie. Let's see if the assistant manager has um, given us good advice. And see if Mr. Jeffrey has uh, bought, his, um, bought his goal scoring boots along to uh, the game. Well, five goals in one match um, was one hell of a performance by him. Looks like to be raining in Wentworthville. Drizzle, 14 degrees. Cook Park. Cook Park. Cook Park. Somewhere, well, wherever Mounties, Wanderers. Play? I thought they were from Wentworthville. I thought they were from that part of the world as well. Yeah, but, Cook um, Park. I don't recall. But anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter, but a um, bit of a... Uh, an arm wrestle to begin with, but um, this is the Wanderers with a uh, throw. Yeah, so uh, decent looking cross, but oh, he, well, he punched it. He could have caught it, but uh, he'll face another cross. Punches usually get punished. They do. I've not, I've seen that more than once. Uh, play, players just outside the box yeah. send it back into the net, but. Um, they're trying to um, knock on our door here. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Um, and we seem to be shaping up pretty well in defence, but um, a bit surprised how how quickly they came at us. Well, they're playing at home, and I guess um, I guess they want to perform well in front of their fans. Anyway, that was a good header by Kankar, who um, is not in our good books. No. No, Sindrick with a good ball through to Jeffrey. He must score. Oh, <laughs> oh you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> he made room for himself. He did. Oh. He moved to the right and all he had to do was hit it into an open goal. Oh. Yeah, that was oh, not dear. good. 
Anyway, um, mm. early mm. days. Early days. I'm sure we can miss again. We're doing now on half time. Anyway, the uh, Wanderers did escape a bullet, but um, it was a very good um, counter. Well, a disappointing end, though. And here we are, about to get cut apart. Oh, Ooh. it's the post. What a surprise. Oh. What a surprise. Yes. Uh, the, the old woodwork. Well, I'm glad it hit the our tolf, post and not their post. The twelfth man. <laughs> <laughs> Extra coat of paint. <laughs> yes, well, okay, well... Both teams um, missing good opportunities, but um, this is the Wanderers pumping a ball to no down one in to particular. Kera, so we can give it to Cendric. Long ball, good ball to Jeffrey. Channel ball through to Cedric. Ooh. Square ball. Oh, no, good save. A goal. Very good save by the keeper. I thought that was going to beat him on his near post. Mm, I was hoping they might do a. He might have done a square ball, but uh, I don't think there was too many shirts forward. Anyway, we might call out some encouragement uh, soon. See if we can uh, buck the boys up a little bit. But this is Krilljar, a bit of a weaving a run. ball through for Cedric, and, and there we another, go. Oh, oh, another great save! I think that was a save and not the uh, the post. Anyway, we'll call out some encouragement and um, yeah. see what happens. Oh, three oh, players go for the ball. That's a bit poor. And they're in. Oh, Ooh. I think he tried to chip the keeper. Yes. I think he should have maybe put his th foot through it. Yeah. Keeper made himself big, which was good. Puffed himself up like a toadfish. <laughs> Come on, we need to dominate. Another right. cluster of players go up for the ball. This is a long ball looking for Jeffrey, Jeffrey. and he is in once again. Oh, good yeah, save. Good save. Hit it straight at the keeper. But Kanka taking a corner. Far post. It comes to naught. A bit unusual for a central defender to be taking corners, but anyway, we might take a look at that at half time. But um, yeah, we sort of prefer him to be using his height in the middle. I would have thought. Yeah, but anyway, we'll um, we'll check that out at half time. But uh, nil nil. Yeah, well, Kenkar's been cranky with us anyway. He wants to move on to a bigger club, so he's not in our. Uh, it's not on our uh, good books at the moment. Anyway, this is the Wanderers with uh, another highlight for them. And Abdala must have some form of injury, but he can still cross a ball. And this is and dangerous. Oh, good block by Kankar. Oh, that was offside, I think. Right. Yeah, there must have been an offside. But. Uh, yeah, ten shots to six. Yeah. We've been maybe slightly better, but um, they're putting up um, a pretty good fight, I reckon. Yeah, well, I mean, Jeffrey had that guilt-edged guilt opportunity early on in the game, and since then it hasn't, there hasn't been any clear chances, not that I can recall. Anyway, this is Deng with a decent cross. Your penalty. Penalty. Is there... Oh, it is. Uh, it's a penalty. Yeah, bastard. Okay, so Habanamana must have done a little bit of pushing. Uh, so can Signorello uh, save penalties? Not no. today. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, Deng putting the Wanderers in front. Deng. Deng, Deng. Double Deng. So good he named himself twice. <laughs> okay. We're just coming up before half time, and we can afford to put our cranky pants on, I guess. Well, if anything, it should be 1 1, but. Um, Still a chance to get oh, back in there. Plenty of football left. Anyway, this is uh, Kriljan Bakara. Nice looking cross. Oh, Hayhurst struck it straight at the keeper. Mm. 
that was another probably good chance but that might be it for the opening 45 minutes no. launch a long ball in Munro Kankar oh, oh he's yeah. gone down another yeah. pen yes yes well okay fair enough sniper in the crowd Kankar yeah. went down could this be Jeffrey who's uh, taking the pen I think it would be well it is Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. oh okay okay the five goals he scored uh, a couple of matches ago um oh. <laughs> he can't remember <laughs> oh, geez, that means his stats are gonna fall well, shit out. Yeah, that was a very poorly struck penalty i must admit he didn't even hit the target uh this does not bode well it doesn't no but anyway look um at least we've got the uh the entire second half ahead of us and this is a Mika good run cuts it back Hayhurst on Munro oh deflected yeah it'll be a corner I can't recall missing a penalty and getting a win out of a game Hayhurst and that's cleared easily yeah. well I think that's going to be it and it is one nil to the home side so let's go and chat to the boys. Yeah, put on the cranky pants. Yeah, well, I think we have to be assertive and maybe a little bit encouraging. So we'll say we're better than this. Show them what we can do in the second half. Okay, well, fingers crossed the, no, uh, the boys one. will play better. It's only one goal. It is, it is. And we had some good chances in the, uh, the first half, including a penalty. So... Um, I think we, I, I feel confident we could turn it around. But if they get another goal, um, mm. I, my confidence will be slipping. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't, um, I'm surprised that Jeffrey is still rating so highly at 6.9 after his penalty miss. I thought his uh, efforts might have crashed out a little bit. Yes. But, um, have it a mania too. His uh, manner, his uh, stats aren't all that good, but he gave away. He did their uh, penalty. Yes, he did with a push. So, uh, but anyway, this is Munro playing it through to Amiko, who just well, he got there, but uh, his shot was too high. Hmm. Thought he's going to run second. Did he? Well, the keeper must have got a touch. Okay, we'll take it. Anyway, Kankar with the corner. Oh. Didn't we change that? We no, he's still taking them, but we it's Jurisic. Oh. He's at the far post. Instead of our one foot three left back. Something like that. There we go. Oh, that's Krilja. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful equalizer. Left his man and um, made no mis mistake. Mm. That's me knocking the furniture over if there's a bit of a rumble in the background. Krilljar, so he was played back the ball. Look at this. Yeah. Left his man and um, a very good finish with his head. Looks like we had one of our players already in the net waiting for to pick out the ball. Okay, all square, 1-1. One, one. Right. This is a deep cross and have an arm, have an arm. Another tongue tongue twister of yeah. a player we've got in our side. Haben Menam. Haben Menam. Oh, I'll give up. <laughs> <laughs> Him. Oh, 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 oh good, re good reply. Very good reply. Yeah. I must admit that was a good goal. Yeah. Uh, so the Mounties are not a uh, bad side at all. But very nicely worked. I said their results were poor. They're... Yeah, but the the goals that they conceded, um, yeah, not not as bad as what it could have been. Okay, so Kankar free kick. Oh well, not a bad effort. Mm. Once again, a central defender taking free kicks. But uh, the Wanderers. Oh, long ball well through for cleared. Jeffrey. Can and this is Jeffrey. He's got pace. Can he finish? He should. Oh, mm. good save by the keeper. I think he should have gone across. Yeah. Across the face of goal. 
So can car with another corner and Duracell can't keep it down, ballooned header. Right oh well we're coming up to nearly 60 minutes. No one's setting the world on fire. Up front, oh well Jeffrey. The frustrating thing is most of the players are performing quite well when you look at their ratings. Um, mm. we're, we're behind on the scoreboard. Um, so Amico maybe? Amico? Amico, well, Carey's is really a lefty. Mm. Um, maybe bring him on to get rid of the yellow that Cindric has got. We'll do that. We'll give Carey's a bit of a run on the uh, the left. Um, and uh, we do have Apostolopoulos on the bench. He doesn't get much time. Oh, oh hits yeah. the crossbar. Um, and that was Carey's um, with the free kick. Yeah. Unusual to hit the crossbar. Oh, very unusual. Anyway, this is another bad ball to Amico, and he's going to get Lock a shot. corner. So we're trying to um, put pressure on them. We are going to stay positive. Although we could ramp it up to attacking mm. for the next the last ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Another deep, oh. deep corner, and Munro can't keep it in. But anyway, we'll uh, we might make another sub substitution in um, maybe another five minutes. This is Becerra playing it long, looking for Jeffrey. Now uh, Krilja and Durisic. Now Krilja, can he set something up for midfield? Munro. Now Hayhurst. Is somebody going to make a run for him? No. Oh, here, here we, we go. A little, little bit lucky. Jeffrey. Oh, oh, no. oh, straight through the keeper. Nutmeg. Does the keeper have a hole in his body? I'd like to see that one again. I thought it was very close to him. And considering the chances that Jeffrey's had, Jeffrey has had, that was probably the. Oh, he, well, he went down, but he really made no effort no. to block it. So okay, two two, it's Goodness. all square. Okay. So um. Game on. Yeah, and maybe another twenty minutes left in the match. Everyone's bucked up too. So, it's amazing uh, what a goal can do for you. Oh, absolutely. But anyway, this is the uh, the Wanderers with possession. And Spencer making an ooh, 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 interesting shh. tackle by Amico. He might be in trouble here. Ooh. He is. Uh, okay, yeah, he went in there. Studs. So, um... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Tactics... Carries, can you play? He can. We're going to have to yes. pull him into the centre. Centre. And uh, we'll keep him in a um, support role. Um, still do want to make another substitution. Maybe bring on Todorowski for Durisic. Some fresh legs yeah. in defence. Yeah. Um. And we'll see yeah. how that goes. Yeah. Okay, well, back to the football. Yeah, that's uh, not like um, young Amico. He normally doesn't do tackles like that. No, so do we need to wind down everything now? We um, might do that because I think a point away from home won't be a bad thing at all. And that's well and truly over the bar. Do you want to um, go down to balanced? Yep. And we'll just see how we uh, how we go with a balanced. Maybe slow down the tempo as well, maybe. What we'll do, we'll call out some encouragement to the boys since it's 2-2. Two, two. We've got one more substitution up our sleeve. Yeah, maybe... Um, I think we'll just make that now. Maybe bring on Ali in midfield for um, Hayhurst. Well, I was thinking perhaps Ward for um, your man, uh, Olivia, Oliver. Oh, yeah, we'll call him that. <laughs> you mean young Ollie? Yeah. Well, Ward is um, tied. Yeah, well, he's only got 10 minutes to play, so surely that won't be... 
Well, hopefully he won't make a mistake <laughs> with 10 minutes to go. But um, I think we'll start to waste a bit of time as well. Oh, yeah, ramp that all the way up. And uh, tempo will slow things down a little bit and uh, see if we can hang on with 10 men for a point. Yeah, so... Unless the boys have um, other ideas. Well... Anyway, this is Hayhurst. Get can them all into the box. Across? He has. He oh, Jeffrey. I thought, I thought Jeffrey was going to get on to the end of that. And here comes the shot. Oh, gee, did that hit the post? Mm, possibly or wide. Yeah, it might, might have been wide. Okay, we've got uh, five minutes of um, at a time. Now, Jeffrey, he's trying to get through. He, oh, he went for a mm. shot. That was blocked. Little return pass would have been a better option there, I think. Okay, so uh, who's going to make a mistake maybe in the last uh, three or four minutes? I think we'll be happy with um, a point. We'll um, ramp it up to yeah. full time wasting. Considering um, the circumstances, I think we would be happy with a point. But before the game, we knew we'd have a have a bit of a game on our hands, but. Um, on our first half performance, I think we should have been well ahead. We certainly missed some good opportunities in the uh, the first half, but we did come back from a goal down, so that's something. So that's the game, 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Mm, two, two. Okay, well, I guess we can't really complain too much. But look at that, 28 shots to um, good. 10. Yeah. Much better XG, uh, nearly 60% possession, eight corners to two, and we share the points. Yeah. Well, that's football. Yeah. Let's go and chat to that, the boys. That's football manager. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we could be calm about the about the whole thing and maybe, I mean, we, we're reasonably pleased with, with what happened, so go for that third last recommendation. We're proud of the work they put in because everyone played well. They did. Okay, well, let's um, go and see what happened with the other results. Okay, with, uh, with that last result, uh, we've dropped just one uh, spot to fourth position mm. on 21 points, five points behind Mount Druid Rangers on 26, and of course uh, Manly United on 23, and Bankstown City have just uh, jumped, uh, jumped above us on 23 points as well. Mm. Yeah, the top four, um, quite compressed. There's, uh, there's only a few points between... Uh, between them, a little bit of a gap between fourth and fifth, but there's still plenty of football to be played and that can turn around quite quickly. Okay, so let's uh, go and find out who we're going to be playing next. Okay, as you can see, in four days' time, we're away to Bankstown United in the league, but looking at the schedule, what we'll probably do, we'll, um, we'll come back for either the, uh, the Mount Druitt Rangers match or the Manly United match. We'll just see how things play out since we've got a, a quarterfinal cup match also to play as well. Yeah, that could be the fly in the ointment, I guess, if there's uh, if there's if we're successful and we go into the semi-final. So the way those games have been coming through, it's been every week. So it could play havoc with our schedule, I think. It could. And of course, um, as we promised at the very beginning, if we get into the semi-final of the Waratah Cup, we will show you that game. But that's the uh, the video for today. Um, mm. Pretty hard for 2-2 draw away to the Mounties Wanderers. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him.